my channel and welcome to another new video. Today I'm actually releasing two videos. You may be thinking, hmm, Sophie, this isn't your normal upload time. I wanted to release this video this morning in preparation for tonight's food challenge video. So in this video, you'll be seeing my food haul from Lidl because tonight's challenge is all about Lidl. The reason I'm doing it is because not everybody likes to see the food haul and some people only tune in for the food haul so I wanted to separate it and also it gets you ready for tonight and watch everything I'm going to eat for tonight's video get excited get prepared with your shopping list so I hope all of that makes sense but anyway I popped into Lidl I bought a load of their Christmas stuff they do actually have a really good range of Christmas things and they have a lot more coming in so I might even do a part two of this video Aldi and Lidl are just coming through with the Christmas food anyway sit back get relaxed get comfortable if you are new to the channel by the way my name is Sophie I make three videos on this channel every single week if you don't want to miss tonight's food challenge video and you want to see all of these future food hauls make sure you are subscribed because I would love to have you join our beautiful community here on YouTube grab your festive drinks get your Christmas pens and let's go through the food haul okay here is all the food we are going to be testing in tonight's video I am super super excited Lidl did actually have a really good range. I know they've got a lot more coming in though, so I definitely need to go back and check out what else they have. Starting here for kind of breakfast. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you how excited I am about this. So, what I'm going to have for breakfast in tonight's video is this milk, chocolate, and sea salted caramel granola. Have you ever heard of anything as exciting as that. I was so impressed with how this box looked. It looks very Waitrose, like so posh. Now this was in their kind of treasure island section i don't know what the little middle aisles called. it looks so good it's definitely a very christmasy breakfast because it's a little bit luxury but also you're getting like your healthy oats and all of that this box was only one pound 99 which i was so impressed with something like this would be like four pounds in waitrose i also got a bag of their bakery stuff so i've got three chocolate chip cookies you actually have chocolate orange muffins but they keep selling out before i can get to little like they are so so popular so i really need to try those these cookies are 42p each and i just felt like on christmas it makes sense to eat cookies throughout the day doesn't it like chocolate chip cookies hey okay, now i also picked up two big bags of like their deluxe crisps these are actually also 75p the aldi ones were also 75p so they're kind of like very very similar to aldi they're giving me all the m&s type waitrose vibes with these like really nice packaging so i picked up one norfolk turkey with sage and onion stuffing let's hope these don't smell like the aldi ones if you know, you know. And I also picked up a large bag of the French Brie and Cranberry Crisps. I just thought these looked so different and just so kind of unique. I've never actually seen this kind of flavor combination together. This bag was also 75p. I also picked up these, which I'm so excited about. These are kind of going to be a snack. There's a bag of, now I'm probably going to butcher the name as always, Le Bouchon, Le Bouchon Assortment. So I think they are like chocolate cinnamony biscuits. I'm sorry, but how festive do these look? They look so festive to me and I'm so excited to try them. We've got pink ones and sprinkles. They just look really nice. I love anything kind of festive, cinnamony flavored throughout this time of year. So I thought it'd be a really good idea to try these. This whole bag, and it is huge, let me tell you, it was 99p. In case I get peckish for more sweets, <laughs> I'm not sure I will. I picked up a box of candy canes. These are peppermint candy canes and they were only 99p. They're definitely going to go on my Christmas tree as a cute little decoration anyway, but I wanted to try them because it's been ages since I had a candy cane. Okay, for kind of lunch or late snacking, I have picked up some cheese and chutneys and biscuits. I see the crackers I've gone for is first of all, oat and chive wheat biscuits. Now these looked really, really nice. And again, they're in the de deluxe range. These are one pound nine and to be fair there's quite a lot in there and I also picked up from the deluxe range the charcoal and sesame wholemeal biscuits these look so cool they are literally completely black that was also £1.99 I'm super duper excited about this one Christmas spiced chutney at Lidl is selling Christmas spiced chutney and I cannot flipping wait it looks like it has figs and apples and cinnamon in there this was £1.19p for this jar now if I like this and if Lawrence likes it 
Christmas, we have so much chutney throughout Christmas, it's not even normal. I will definitely be stock buying this from Lidl. I think I will like it, but it's so hard to find like a really nice chutney that you really enjoy. The cheeses I went for for our cheese and cracker taste testing is the Yorkshire Wensleydale with apricots. Now apricots seems to be a big taste over Christmas. I've seen apricots everywhere and also Yorkshire Wensleydale with cranberries. Now I find that the cranberry one is definitely Christmassy. I think they might all go really well together, like the sweetness of the fruit with the cheese and also the chutney will go really well together. The cheese chunks were £1.49 each, so definitely a very affordable cheese. Also from the Lidl Deluxe range, I picked up the six all butter mince pies. Apparently the little ones are really, really nice, so I'm very excited to try these. These were £1.35 for this box. And I think I also want to do like a mince pie taste test of all the mince pies in all the supermarkets to see which one is the best and that you should be buying this Christmas. And if you do want to see that, let me know because I don't know if people would actually watch that. Okay, for dinner, we are going to be testing some really random stuff. So first of all, we're having the mushroom Stilton and the cranberry Wellington. Now this is a vegetarian option to Christmas dinner. To be honest, Lidl um, still has like not very much stuff in that's Christmassy, especially in their savory section. Quite hard to find, but I've decided to go with this um, because it looks a bit different and it's got cranberry in, so it's going to be very festive tasting. This was £3.49 and it's huge by the way, like I think this could probably feed like two to four people. And then on the side, I know it's so random, but I've gone for some stuffing. This is apricot, orange and cranberry stuffing. Again, very, very festive flavours. If you have seen my Aldi Christmas taste testing video, you will know I went for something a little bit similar and it was delicious. This was only 99p. Guys, that is so affordable. There's no need to spend a lot of money this Christmas when you can buy really nice stuff for 99p. If for pudding, I have gone for myself, I've gone for the Belgian chocolate bomb. How good does this look? It's basically a chocolate melt in the middle pudding. Um, it looks so good and I'm I'm happy with the size because it feels quite big, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, and it does say serve two, so I'm gonna have this by myself. This was actually £1.99 and I definitely want to focus more on like Christmas pudding alternatives because I don't like Christmas pudding, but I do like to have some kind of pudding. And I feel like it looks like the shape of a Christmas pudding, so it could be like a really good alternative. Lawrence is going to have a luxury nine month matured Christmas pudding. I loved this because it is in the size of a one person portion like it's really small but it, apparently it's just enough for one person so i'm really excited for him to try that and let us know what he thinks tonight yes, this was only one pound 49 i feel like it's a really good alternative if you have like 10 people over for christmas dinner and only five of them eat christmas pudding you could just get five mini christmas pudding just so there's no waste and everyone's got their own individual one guys you didn't think i was going to do this challenge without treating myself to some nice drinks to taste test now this is also available in Aldi and you would have seen this in my Aldi Christmas taste testing the exact same mold wine like it is the exact same I absolutely love how Christmassy the label is it just looks so festive we're gonna taste test this mold wine although we already know we love it and by the way this mold wine is only £4.99 so it's like a really affordable but really nice tasting mold wine and then oh my gosh Everyone just, I mean, mold wine, no offense, but get to the side because this is all about the hot chocolate. Look at this hot chocolate, salted caramel hot chocolate. It says it's new, so I'm really excited to try this. I feel like this would be such a good stocking filler as well, by the way, like salted caramel hot chocolate. I would love to find this in my stocking. This was £1.85, so I'm so flipping excited to try that. Trying all of this stuff is going to be a really, really good food challenge, and I cannot wait to get started. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing what we're going to test out in tonight's video and also looking at all the food and kind of just some of what Lidl has on offer for the prices. I will see you again very, very soon because in a few hours time, I'm going to be here again giving you all the Christmassy content. We are going to be doing 24 hours eating Lidl food only and I'm so excited for you guys to see how it all went. Thank you so much for your love and support. Happy Christmas as always, and I will see you again very, very soon. Mwah. Bye.